Hello, my name is Mike Miller, President of the North Country Arts Council. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to learn more about the NCAC, an organization founded in 1948. We're a volunteer-driven, publicly supported organization dedicated to enriching the lives of our fellow citizens through expanded opportunities to learn from and interact with the arts in all of its forms. Today, the North Country Arts Council stands at the intersection of tradition and innovation when challenging conversations about where we have been and where we aim to go are occurring. We completed a strategic plan and further developed goals and objectives through the end of the calendar year 2013. Most of those goals have been accomplished and an upcoming strategic retreat promises as many new targets for the future. We have a beautiful new home for the NCAC at 52 Public Square in Watertown, featuring our own gallery, Arts on the Square, which showcases the talents of hundreds of North Country artists. Plus, we have additional space for studio work, all types of art classes for all ages and abilities, and practice facilities available to area musicians and artists. Down the street, you'll find a beautiful painted fountain at the top of Public Square, the result of artist submissions and a public vote with City Council approval. We are very proud of the event partnerships we have formed with the Flower Memorial Library, Jefferson County Historical Society, the New York State Zoo at Thompson Park, Watertown City Parks and Recreation, Jefferson Community College, the Lyric Theater, and Channels 7 and Fox 28, just to name a few. Rarely does a month go by without some expression of community art associated with the North Country Arts Council. Some of the recent events the NCAC has produced include the Enchanted Gardens in the historic Olmsted Design Thompson Park, an evening of lavish gardens, classic theater, uplifting dance performances, and wonderful a cappella music. Muse, a live, creative, collaborative performance evening and exhibit. There are also numerous art show openings and receptions throughout the year at Arts on the Square and throughout the community. Arts Beats and Eats, the opening night of the Fall Art Show, now in its 65th year, is one of our signature events. The fabulous artwork, live music, creative entertainment, and incredible food has made this an annual Don't Miss November event. The Fall Art Show is staged in concert with the opening of the Lyric Theater's Fall Musical Production. This year, the NCAC celebrated its first hosting of the countywide 4th of July event in Thompson Park. A massive crowd enjoyed the music of the 10th Mountain Division's rock and roll band and Acapedia, a six-person a cappella choral group as a warm-up to the incredible sounds of the very talented Orchestra of Northern New York, followed by the best fireworks display in recent history. The North Country Arts Council's most recent achievement is a valued new partnership with the Y in the area of arts education. This has resulted in the hiring of a joint coordinator of arts education and will greatly expand educational opportunities for all ages in all locations of the county. Have art, we'll travel. It's an exciting adventure which we know will engage greater numbers of our fellow citizens in creative pursuits. Now we have launched our new website complete with directories for artists and arts organizations, as well as a tri-county interactive arts calendar. There's lots more on our agenda, so keep checking into the North Country Arts Council website, or better yet, offer to volunteer, take a class, or get involved in some way. The arts build community, and you're part of it.
Our region is alive with the arts and many opportunities to get involved. You can make a difference. The North Country Arts Council, celebrating arts in Northern New York.